Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Hit Parade Autograph Big Box Series 6. Random letter break number 3. First letter of their last name is what we're going with. First letter of their last name. And there's all the letters right there. So for example, Carl Anthony Towns will go to T for Towns. Right? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar will go to A for Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, Ichiro Suzuki will go to S. If it just says Ichiro, it'll go to I. So with that being said, big thanks to this group here for getting on the action. And there are the letters right there. Let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a four, ten times for names and letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and tenth and I said ten right yeah once more tenth and final time after ten we got Chad down to Colin and now first letters of their last name six and a four ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine and tenth and final time. After 10, we got C down to W. All right, Chad with C, then with L, Brian with the combo letters Y, V, I, N, and O, and you have H, Colin with S, Craig with M, Jason with R, Clay with A, Brian with J, Chad with F, Anthony with T, Josh with E, Donald with D, and K. Uh, sorry, Colin with D and K. Donald has B. Colin with G. Clay with P. Getting ahead of myself. And Colin with W. Let's order these alphabetically by letter right here. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then maybe I could help some people during the trade window to alleviate some sort of letter anxiety. Sometimes people just blank on these letters. And they're like, wait, I got nobody. This is a, Some people might be like, ah, oh, I've got the worst letter here. You know, but you don't. We, we can tell you. So we'll do all of that during the trade window when we have the video paused. When we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. We alleviated some anxiety with people's letters, and now I think we're good to go. There is the big box right here. This is box 49 out of fit. Let me see if I could swing this camera without, without disconnecting it. There it is, big box, series six, box 49 out of 50. Swing this back around, sorry if you got a little seasick there. All right, now let's pop this case open and let's start pulling out the items. Of, uh, brown paper in here so if you're sensitive to that it can lower the volume oh here's the first item it's like a feels like a helmet maybe full-size helmet let's put that right there we've got what's going on here we've got there should be five items per here's another item two three, four, and five. And five has that attached to it. Interesting. You can share your hits with Hit Parade.
All right. You could volume up again. So let's see what we have here. I don't like that that's taped right there. Does this fold up? It's fold out. Oh, this photograph was autographed by so-and-so's signature, witnessed by an official representative of Panini Authentic, limited to 25. All right, it's a 16 by 20 photo. All right, who am I? I'm a retired quarterback, was a former number one overall pick, born in Washington, D.C., stood at 6'4", 240 pounds, played for one team my entire career, a four-time Pro Bowler, an NFL passing touchdowns leader, an NFL Comeback Player of the Award winner, a two-time Heisman Trophy finalist, and had a career, NFL career 171 touchdowns to 83 interceptions. Over 23,600 passing yards, almost 1,600 rushing yards, and 14 rushing touchdowns. Who am I? Apparently, I made an impact within my first year by setting the rookie records for most passing yards in a season and game. Previously, my team, without me, Went two and fourteen, and then I joined the team. We went eleven and five in a playoff berth. Not Alex Smith, not Marino, not Breeze, not Marino, not Moon, not Mayfield, not Namath. No, for the second time, not Marino. I was drafted in 2012, number one overall pick in 2012. Went to college at Stanford. That should give it away. Yep, Mark's got it. Mark and Oliver. There you go, Andrew Luck. Nice, yeah. I, I, I didn't realize that either. He was born in Washington, D.C. kind of. There's the... The hand numbering right there. That's kind of cool. There's only 25 of, the, of these. Let me see if I could try to do a little camera work here. There it is. There we go. Nice. So that's for Ven with L. authenticity thing by Panini in there as well, which is also cool. Nice. All right, next thing. Was it 12 out of 25? I didn't notice. Jersey number then. Oh, we have a, what is this, baseball? Autographed baseball in here? Yeah. Tesseract? All right.
Who am I? I'm an active baseball player. Right-hander. Played for one team my entire career. I have a lifetime 289 batting average. 72 home runs and 213 runs batted in. An all-star. An AL Hank Aaron Award winner. A Silver Slugger Award winner. And an MLB home run leader. Who am I? I don't know, are people going to get it just with those stats? And I was born in Montreal, Canada. Yep, Mark and Oliver got it. Vlad Guerrero Jr. finished second in MVP voting to Shohei Otani earlier today. There's the PSA DNA sticker and number in there as well. Ooh, it's a, is this a different colored baseball here? Yeah, a black baseball with gold stitching. Nice. Does that mean gold ink auto? Yeah, I think, I think his auto goes this way. Nice. That goes to the letter G, Colin, with G. It's pretty sweet. Colin, congrats. Onwards to the next one. All right, what do we got here? We got a jersey, red jersey. Let's see who it is. And this is a Mitchell and Ness jersey too. So officially licensed. All right, who am I? I'm a retired basketball player. Played for one, two, three, four NBA teams my entire career. What position did I play? I guess I play. I guess I played all positions. Yeah, I, I think more of a small forward, but he was able to play all five positions on the court. Um, and according to the Wikipedia page, he played. I played all five positions. Who am I? I played all five positions on the court with prowess and demonstrated court vision and an outside shooting touch that was seldom found in players of that height in that particular era. I was a three-time NBA champion, a three-time Euro League champion. An NBA Sixth Man of the Year, a FIBA European selectee, part of the 50 greatest. I was a 50 greatest Euro League contributors, an Italian League champion, a four-time Yugoslav League champion, NBA All Rookie Second Team. I've won some. I uh, won a 1999, 1990 uh, Basketball World Cup gold medal. My team was a silver medal team, but three NBA champions, championships in my career from Croatia, 6'11", 235, Croatian. Yep. Oliver, you got it. Tony Kukoc. 
There it is, number seven, Tony Kukoc. So since this is an officially licensed jersey, it's worth taking a look at. Letter K, that's all. That's another one for Colin. That's pretty cool. Got the logo man right there as well. Got the retail tags attached to. Yeah, it's a really nice jersey. Here, I'll fold this up nicely, Colin, after I do this video. But nice Tony Kukoc. All right, a couple more to go. This jersey, I think it's a jersey, felt a lot heavier or thicker for some reason. Hockey jersey, maybe? I think it might be a hockey jersey. Yeah, another officially licensed hockey jersey. All right, who am I? I'm a former, I'm a retired ice hockey player, widely acknowledged as one of the greatest of all time. Canadian, played between 1966 and 1978. A defenseman, left-handed shot, You're six foot, 197. Currently 73 years old. Did you already show this one? Yeah. Awesome. I know, isn't that cool? The old Mitchell and Ness, Mitchell and Ness jersey as well. That Classic was, Bulls right up front. He's got a he's got a a goal named after me called the goal in the 1970 Stanley Cup Finals. That's pretty awesome. I think I have a career 270 goals, 645 assists for a career 915 points. Yeah, Steve Wright's got it. Bobby Orr. Letter O, Brian Croft. Oh, we got we got to take a look at this too. So Brian Croft, that's with the uh, the combo letters. Let's take a look at it. There's all the authentication stuff. Obviously, that'll ship too. That is awesome. They give you the, they give you the, you can lace it up right there too. Here's a closer look at the autograph again. It's pretty cool. Got the the number on the sleeve as well. The big the big uh, Boston Bruin logo is also sick. So that's pretty nice stuff. All the retail tags there as well. Again, I'll fold this up nicely, Colin before it gets shipped out, after I finish this video. Or Brian, that is, Brian Croft got that one. It does not have a fight strap, but 
on the bottom, it does have that. It's got a little Bobby Orr tag right down there too. All right, Bobby Orr to Brian Croft. All right, and the final one is a helmet. It looks like a full-size helmet. Oh, saw the grill a little bit. Might give it away. Let's see who this is. Oh, okay. All right, who am I? I am, I am a former American football player, currently 47 years old, from Bradenton, Florida, 6'2", 205. Um, was really, he's part of the college football of him, never did anything in the, uh, in, in the pros. He did play for a season with the Montreal Alouettes, did a little bit of coaching as well, but in college... I was a Big 8 freshman of the year, an Orange Bowl most valuable player in 94 and 95, a Big 8 offensive player of the year, a Johnny Unitas Golden Arm award winner, a quarterback of the year, a consensus All-American, a Heisman Trophy runner-up, a Fiesta Bowl most valuable player in 1996, and my number 15 retired by my university. He was, he was pretty good. My place in this university's football history firmly secured after helping this team win the national and conference championships and going 45-4 and four with, four th with 5,476 total yards of offense and 79 TDs. My jersey number being retired in 1996, listed as one of the greatest football, college football players of the century, according to Sport Magazine. I went to, there you go, Husky Dolphins got it, Tommy Frazier. I think he's still well-remembered and beloved in Nebraska. Nice, you got the, uh, the classic N right there, his autograph on the side. That is awesome. You got the PSA sticker right back there as well. Here's a look at the auto. And it is hitting you with that national championship inscription. Nice. Letter F is going to be Chad Wright with the letter F. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Keep your eye out for more of these big box breaks. And I'll see you next time for the next one, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.